All right, everybody, it's Mike from Barry Hiking Guides, and in this video, we're going to be talking about what is so special about the Buckeyes this time of year. We're uh, getting towards the end of May and into June here. Summer is almost right around the corner. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm up here with Beth, and we are underneath one of these big, large buckeye trees. And we're going to talk about what's so amazing uh, about the buckeye tree and what's really cool about it this time of year, uh, towards the end of May and uh, into June. Um, this time of year, they will have their um, white flowers that come out in kind of a cone-shaped flower, and it's beautiful, it's fragrant. Um, if you get up too close to it, you can smell it. And um, I think it's interesting about buckeyes is they're the you can tell what time of year it is by looking at a buckeye. Um, in fe January, February, they're the very first trees to leaf out. They get their, their beautiful green leaves. And then about this time of year, they'll, they'll get their flowers around May, early June, they'll get their flowers. As their defense, is it, as the summer dries out, they will lose their leaves. They'll lose their leaves in about August way before other trees do. So they're bare about August and then they'll get their their fruit, which is the the buckeye. It looks like a uh, ball. And then you know, they have the green husk on them and they'll lose the husk and it'll be just like a brown ball. It looks like a buck's eye. So if you were to look at a buckeye, you can tell you can tell what time of year it is. Yeah, it's kind of fascinating. It's like they're the timekeepers of the Bay Area. The buckeye's hanging from the tree. You can see that it's okay, it's winter, and then when the leaves start falling, they all brown out. You know it's August. It's uh, really fascinating. And, and the flowers, like you said, is so fragrant. I mean, I feel like I'm hanging out with my prom date. Um, they're real, real beautiful smelling for all you ladies out there. Um, I really like the fragrance of the Buckeye. It's, it's pretty much the, the most fragrant tree we have in the Bay Area, right? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. And you can smell them sometimes from a good distance away, like 10, 20 feet. Right now we're currently, I don't know, there's some skunk activity going on. We got a bunch of hemlock in here. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely uh, taking away some of that scent. Really, really interesting facts about the buckeye. And they're so beautiful. Just the structure and everything when they start getting a lot older. I really like the way they look. All right. Well, uh, we're going to pop up more videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm obviously back from Alaska. I was in a temperate rainforest and then in uh, some glacier stuff. So a whole different ball game compared to here, that's for sure. Um, but it's great to be back, great to be back in the uh, sunny California. It's about 85 degrees today. And uh, just rocking it. So more videos coming up. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions, more stuff that you know about the Buckeye, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear it. All right, guys, take care.